Just recently, um, <clears throat> so I could, about a month and a half ago, I got evicted, man. Okay? And uh, what happened was they came to the door, the sheriffs, two, two Jake police officers came to the door, told me to step back, to stand the third. I cooperated, I listened because the scriptures say to, all right? And uh, what happened was, you know, he told me uh, 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 to get my important stuff, which I did. I, I made sure I had my backpack full of my swords and stuff like that. My garments, all that and stuff. My laptop, my clothes, all right? And, I, and then as soon as I stepped out the apartment door, there was a bunch of niggas out there standing there, sitting down, waiting to throw up my shit, man. And as I was, you know, I stand out there and watch them throw it away. And when I was looking, I seen the, the people that worked at the uh, 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 at the rental office. It was a gay nigga. It was in a little uh, golf cart. It was a gay fat nigga and a pregnant bitch. And they were sitting there, you know, smiling and laughing and talking, right? And I was like, man, the most high is going to fuck that pregnant bitch up, man. It's going to kill her and her baby, man. Lord willing. And that, that fat gay nigga is going to get a harsh adjustment, too. And you know what? When I was going through that hell, man, I wasn't nervous, bro. I wasn't scared. I wasn't upset, man. I was praising the most high in my head, man. All right? I was praising the how about shimmy up shy while that hell was coming, man. I was saying the water. And throughout that whole day, I had... I think I had three bags. I had a duffel bag full of clothes, another bag full of pants, and then I had my backpack on that was full of my, my, my uh, the stuff for the truth, you know, and with my laptop in it. And uh, what happened was I had to go get my brothers like a couple hours later, around like a, 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 a two o'clock or something. I had to get my two brothers and my nephew out of school. And I stored my clothes and shit in the woods, man. All right, and uh, and I was carrying my, uh, my 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 sword and my laptop on my backpack, right? I always kept it on me. That whole day with my nephews and my brothers, you know, we had just went shopping the next the, the day before, and we had food and they threw it all out. And we had I had went to the that the, where they threw it out at. I grabbed a whole bunch of water bottles, some snacks and shit, and we chilled at the park, man. All right, and waited till my mother to, to get off of work and my sister to get off of work. And we was just staying there all fucking night, man. All right? When my sister came, she picked up her son, my two brothers, and my mother. They went on somewhere. Now, I guess they went somewhere. And my mom was, it was it was dark as shit, man. And my mom was asking me where I'm going to go. I said, man, I'm just going to go in the woods, man. I'll be all right. And I had faith throughout the whole day. And the first thing I was thinking about was Abraham, man. When he had a stone journey, when he had to go to land and land and sleep in tents and tents, he went by faith, man. That's the first thing I was thinking about was Abraham, man, our forefather, man, of, uh, you know, what he had to do, what all our forefathers had to go through, man, and I wasn't bitching up at all, man, all right, and it was dark as shit, man, and before I can cross the street to go to the woods, it was a busy street, man, so it took some time for me to, to have a chance, before I can cross the street, my best friend's mother pulls up in the car, man, and she knew my situation because... I told I told my friend, you know, that, that we got evicted and, and, and if y'all want that, that that flat screen TV, go ahead and have it. And, and they went to go get it. So she was around the area and it was nighttime and she knew my situation. She asked me where I was gonna go. I told her straight up, man, I said, look, I'm about to go to the woods, man. And she she, she seemed upset, man, because you know, because I've been around them for, for, for years now. 